What's going on everybody? It's Kevin over here at Custom Night Vision. Currently on the market, there are three commercially available articulating binocular night vision housings that any consumer can buy. Today, we're gonna go over each one of those and kind of talk about what makes them special, what makes them different from each other, uh, the features and benefits that are included and what may make them the right choice for you. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, first, we're gonna talk about uh, the housing material used to actually construct the devices. The 1431 and the DTMVS are both made out of lightweight polymers, so kind of fancy plastic. Um, the Katana, however, is made out of a um, multi-jet fusion nylon 11. It's technically a, a really high-tech 3D printed technology uh, that allows them to essentially cut a lot of weight out of this housing. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about the origin of manufacture uh, on each one of these housings. The BMVD 1431 is manufactured in China and it is uh, imported to Canada where it is QC'd. And that's, we export it from Canada and bring it down here and then we QC it again. The DTMVS is made in Europe and the Katana is made right here in the United States. Uh, next, I want to talk about the official water ingress ratings of each one of the housings. The BMVD um, 1431 has not been officially rated by anyone yet, but it's in the process. The uh, Katana has been rated mill standard 810G and IP68+, as well as the DTMVS. These, these two were both mill spec rated to the most current standards by militaries all around the world. Uh, next up, we want to, I want to talk about um, illuminators. The 1431 has an onboard illuminator, as does the DTMVS. The Katana, however, does not have an onboard illuminator. Uh, some people think you need one, some people don't. It's really personal preference, but that is one of the ways that they eliminated a lot of weight from this housing. The battery life on all of the devices is, is pretty similar, but uh, it, is, it is slightly different. The 1431 runs for about 24 to 25 hours on a single AA. The Katana runs a CR123 and it, it runs for about 20 hours, I think is the, the most recent consensus. And the DTMVS also uses a CR123A and they uh, guarantee 25 hours of front time. Which brings me to my next point. Some of these housings have ports in them allowing for the use of a, an external battery pack. The 1431 has a Fisher port in the side, just like a 31 Alpha, a 1531. So you can run an L3 battery pack or the Argus branded battery pack that uh, takes four AA batteries. I think the rated runtime on the cold weather battery pack is something like 60 hours. The Katana has an, um, an optional, but onboard Limo port. So you can run any of the uh, aviation style battery packs, the AB night vision battery pack and those utilize four AA batteries as well with a similar battery life. The DTMVS, however, does not have any way from the factory to run in a remote battery pack. Each one of the three options on the table has a different way of providing an IPD stop to the user. The 1431 has integrated IPD stops just like I previously mentioned, like a 31 Alpha, a 1531 the L3 factory units, where it is a thumb screw on the side of each pod. It's quickly adjustable, very intuitive, easy to use. The Katana has kind of a unique approach to the IPD stops with a, uh, like a cam and a standoff in the back. Um, essentially, it's just a force to overcome to set your IPD distance. And then anytime you flip the pods back down, it will return to the same distance between the pods. The DTMVS, however, has IPD stops that are not included as a $400 accessory that you can buy separately and install yourself. Some of the other various features built into the, these goggles, um, obviously it's different for each one. The uh, 1431 has a uh, stow feature where if you have it activated and you flip it up, it will turn the goggles off, as well as a low battery indicator through the light pipe inside of the device. So 
when your battery is running low, it will blink a red light indicating, hey, your battery's about to go dead. You should probably change that. The Katana has a feature where when you separate the pods to put them in the stowed position like this, maybe you're getting in and out of a vehicle and you don't want to flip the night vision all the way up on top of your head, it will turn off the pods individually. So that's kind of nice. Whereas the 1431 doesn't do that. The DTMVS also has that individual pod cutoff feature as well as a low battery indicator. And it is programmable. Um, from what I understand, you can program the individual pod cutoff distance like how far you can move each pod before it actually turns off. I'm sure you can deactivate it if you wanted to, but it has the circuitry inside of it to be programmable. Now I'd like to discuss the elephant in the room and that is housing weight. The, and this is where it gets a little funky. The Katana, as it comes with IPD stops, actually wins as the lightest weight housing. Because the DTMVS does not come with its IPD stops, when they're installed, it actually weighs more than a Katana does. The 1431 is the heaviest of all three options. Um, if you're not currently an experienced night vision user, the weight difference is gonna be negligible. Next, I wanna talk about brightness control. The DTMVS utilizes 10160 tubes with automatic brightness control inside the tube. There is no method to utilize manual gain with this housing. So you're gonna have, you know, whatever the automatic brightness control performance is within the selected tubes that you put in the housing. The Katana is similar, um, almost exactly the same in that respect. The brightness control is gonna be dictated by the intensifier tube itself. However, the 1431 has a potentiometer on board that we can wire up L-bit or L3 tubes to utilize the manual gain. So there's a knob here, you can turn your gain up and down. Really cool. Next, I wanna talk about the warranty on these three housings. The DTMVS has a two-year manufacturer's warranty. Um, their, their warranty is good. They cover damage, broken housings, et cetera. But because they are international, uh, these housings come from Europe, RMAs and warranty claims take sometimes weeks. I've seen them take as long as, as months, unfortunately. The Katana, however, as it's manufactured in the United States, has a lifetime warranty and turnaround time on getting these repaired is very quick, uh, typically about a week. If you were to break one of the housings, you or us send it off and they will replace whatever broken components need to be replaced or the entire housing if need be and send it back to us. The 1431 comes with a five-year warranty that includes accidental damage by the user, similar to the Katana. Because we are the sole distributor of this housing in the United States, if you break one of these that comes from us, you send it right back to us. We have all the parts in stock on hand to repair these. And we typically turn them around in three to five days. Um, something to be considered when selecting a housing is typically when you break night vision or anybody breaks night vision, it's the housing that is actually going to get broken. Um, in many cases, these housings are designed to break at predetermined areas to protect the more expensive components of the night vision, uh, i.e. the intensifier tubes inside of it. So if you break a housing, don't freak out. There's, uh, there are ways to fix it. What do these things cost? Well, they're actually vastly different prices. The 1431 is the least expensive option on the table. These retail, if you wanted to buy the housing by itself, uh, $1,200. The Katana uh, retail for the housing by itself is $1,800. And the DTMVS, $3,200. So there's a lot of difference between the least expensive and the most expensive and it's something most people will factor into the completed cost of their built unit. So what we have determined is there are pros and cons to each one of these housings on the table. We have all three of them in stock as completed units. You can go pick one out on the website. Give us a call, shoot us an email. Go check out our website. The Night Vision Builder is really cool just to play with. Uh, you can get a kind of an idea of what components and tubes, housing really work for you and your budget. Go check that out. If you have questions, again, don't be afraid to hit us up. Thanks, have a great day.